is Dylan Terrell. Uh, this is my interactive poster board uh, on the life cycle of a plant uh, for use in a third grade, third grade classroom environment. Um, as you can see, um, this lesson uh, would go with the life cycle of a plant uh, within the a unit of uh, structures of life. Um, and then um, the thought here is that um, students would be able to utilize this poster board to learn about the cycles and then we would go and plant a seed uh, in, the, in the soil and uh, the students would then have an opportunity to uh, observe and document in their um, science journals uh, the stages and the cycles of the plant that they see as the seed grows into a plant. Uh, students will have the opportunity to use this board um, uh, by taking the different um, picture blocks on and off the board, um, reference the different um, sayings for the cycle, and uh, when they're off in a um, centers type of a lesson, they can just play with the interactive um, blocks and put them in the order that they belong. So uh, I'll kind of zoom in here and um, show you how this works and the ease with which it will work, and I think it will prove to be a pretty good process. So uh, here at the, at the beginning, uh, the seed holds a tiny plant with leaves, stem, root parts, plus a food supply, and students can easily attach that there. That then goes to the next stage of germination. Uh, with water, soil, and sun, the plant begins to grow. That continues on to stems and roots, which the stems push up towards the light, roots grow down into the soil. Continuing on, leaves unfold, takes, take in sunlight, produce food through photosynthesis. And then finishing with the flower cycle where uh, plants produce flowers that are important in making seeds, which then those seeds will drop into the soil and create the process all over again. So I think this is a, a very nice interactive um, lesson plan to go along with the Structures of Life unit that a third grade class would use. So thank you for listening.